Hey everybody, Kirby Hosman here with a brand new series we're calling Start, Start and, and Stop. Stop. The concept is that I want to give you something that in your life that you can start and you can stop. It'll help increase your productivity, your success, and your happiness. These first two come from a presentation I give where I talk about the accomplished life and trying to get more things done in your life. So if you want to be more productive, this is one thing you should start and this is one thing you should stop. So if you want to be more productive, first things first, you should start getting more sleep. Now, I know that might sound counterintuitive because people are always telling you, you gotta grind and you gotta work all night and you gotta you know, pull all nighters to be successful. But the reality of it is, is if you wanna be productive, if you wanna be successful, your brain needs to work at a high level. And for most of us, we need to get plenty of sleep for that to happen appropriately. So like, you know, there's 1% of the population that can operate on very little sleep, but the rest of us need usually between seven and nine hours. I'm an eight hour a night guy. If I get less than that, I don't uh, produce, I'm not as productive, and I just don't operate at a premium level. Here's what's interesting about this, and this comes from the book Brain Rules by Dr. John Medina. So if you're an eight hour a night person like me and you try to pull an all nighter and you only get four hours of sleep, so you still got four hours of sleep, right? But if you only get four hours a night of sleep, your brain productivity, the amount that your brain can function decreases by 40%. 40% folks, that's a big number. And if you do that for two nights in a row, the second night, you actually lose an another 40%. One of the things I say all the time is if I get to the third night, I'm a talking monkey. So if you want to uh, produce at a high level, one of the things you need to start is to get more sleep. You need to get plenty of sleep. It helps your brain function at a high level. And the reality of it is, you know that if you're tired and you're grumpy, you're not dealing with stress, you're not thinking creatively, you're not doing things that you need to do with high energy anyway. But the, but the big thing about it is, if you want your brain to function at a high level, start by getting more sleep. Now let's talk about the thing that you need to stop if you wanna be more productive. The one thing this week you need to stop if you wanna be more productive is stop hitting the snooze button. Now I know that's counterintuitive because I just told you you need to get enough sleep, but when it's time to get up, you need to get up. Here's the science behind that. The reality of it is when we sleep, we sleep in 90 minute cycles. And toward the end of that, the, uh, the evening, that last cycle is about a two hour cycle. But either way, you're sleeping in 90 minute cycles. So when you hit that alarm, and you go to try to sleep for another nine minutes, what you're telling your body is, is it's time to sleep again, and it goes into another 90 minute cycle. So guess what? When you wake up in nine, 18, 27 minutes, you actually are feeling more groggy and more tired because your body thinks it's supposed to be in sleep time again. Plus, you add to that, you're pushing your day back, right? You're, you're pushing your day back another 10 or 30 minutes, and so you have less time. The reality of it is, once it's time to wake up, I, I know it's hard, I know it's challenging, but stop hitting the snooze button, you wanna jump up. So that's my start and my stop today. Just a recap, if you wanna start getting more functional sleep, seven, eight, nine hours of sleep, you need to be a little bit self-aware to know what that number is for you. But once you find that number, you wanna try and get that amount of sleep each night get more sleep, start that. Stop hitting the snooze button. Not only does it set you behind in your schedule, it sets you behind in your energy and you're going to push back the rest of your day. So my goal here for the start and stop series is to give you some functional things that you can start doing by making yourself more, more productive, more happy. But here's the thing, I've got more coming. On the next episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about another thing you need to start and another thing you need to stop if you wanna be more productive, more successful, and more happy. So do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this, but subscribe to my channel and I'll keep more content coming for you. Thanks so much, we'll see you next time.